Hello and I hope you're doing well. On this video we're going to take a look at this Jubilee TV hub. So let me take this out of the box. And on this video we're going to unbox all the components so you can see what the product looks like for now. If you do need help installing it, you have plenty of options to choose from. And here they are. You have help center through their website. There's also a phone number and an email and here are their hours. And I got this product because my mother is a little bit older and this product will help her make things much easier. Watching TV, streaming media, things of that sort that she did not grow up with and we are so used to it that it's uh, second nature to us but not for people her age. And it also helps her stay connected with family and friends much easier than using a smartphone. So let's take a look. On this first box we have our cables, the Y splitter, HDMI cable and extra items. So let's take a look. And it also has labels so that's pretty cool. You have the HDMI cable on both sides. You have the Y splitter, so you can connect two devices in one outlet. You have extra items, so this is also a HDMI cable. And this is a USB-A on one side and USB-A on the other side, so it's an extension. Let's put this one away. And then you have a smart plug and a webcam. So if you're making video calls, and this is a lot easier to use a video call instead of looking uh, uh, people through your smartphone, you can see them on the TV, which is a larger screen. You have a power button on this side. Here you have connect to TV power, so you can turn on and off the TV from here. And then here you have the camera. And it, it comes with this privacy uh, cap that came off. And I think this is supposed to be glued on. So I just pushed it back on there. So if you want to open it, you can just flip that open. There's the camera. And you can tilt this. And this is going to be on the TV on top of it. And it also comes with mics. And it does have the USB-A here. So if you have a larger TV, that's probably why this extension is included. So now it's not coming off that I put it back on there. And finally we have the hub. Here it is. And you have large letters on it. If you need help, there's a number to not disconnect. And then you have the inputs, you have the power, IR, USB, webcam, network, TV out, HDMI 4, 3, 2, and 1. And here they are on the side. HDMI 1, 2, 3, 4, TV and AVR out. Network, USB, IR, and power. There's nothing on the other side. And here is more information, safety and warning. You have remote stickering instructions. So if you have any of these remotes, so you have DirecTV, Dish, Optimum, 
Spectrum Xfinity and it gives you more detailed information on the following pages. You also have the power cable. IR blasters. So this is going to that box. You have a couple of batteries. Then you have the remote here with several buttons. You have the middle to select, OK, up, down. You have a mic, back, forward, backward, guide, volume up and down, mute, channels. Then you have the numbers and enter and he has not only larger numbers it's he it has different colors so that's pretty cool that it's easier to distinguish and it's nice and comfortable on my hand and on the back he does have a sticker if you need assistance you can call that number and this is an arrow showing what's on the top and to change the batteries, press hold and slide down. The battery is going here. So all these items come with the Jubilee TV hub. Also, Jubilee TV has an application for family and friends. As for the setup, I called the number on the instructions and they were able to help me set up everything and it was easier than I thought. Right on the TV screen you can see the weather, the time, also the person's name and the camera can stay on top of the TV or you can move it around as you please and you can leave it open or closed for privacy. The Jubilee can control different devices. On this setup I have the HDMI input, the DVD player, then I have the fire stick and the TV and lastly the camera. It works best with Roku TV, either Express, the streaming stick and Ultra because I can control the TV from the application much easier. Now it also works with iOS, Android and on the web. Once my mom turns on the TV, I can control the TV and choose the show or movie she wants to watch. Sometimes it's hard for her to to look and search for stuff so I can do that for her. Another feature that I like is that I can add family and friends and each of them can video call her. On her TV she gets a prompt and there's a red button and a green button on the TV as well as on the remote and she can choose to take or not to take that call. And when she does approve, then she can see right in front on the TV the person who is calling. And on the other side, we can see how she's doing. We could also share pictures for her to see when she wants. I also like that on the application I can set reminders so I can stay in touch with her. And making a video call is much better than just a phone call because we can see each other, it's more personal and we can show her where we are or perhaps what we're doing around the house or in the park wherever we are and she can join us in the fun. I could also set reminders for her so on her TV it will prompt her time to take my medicine or time to do certain tasks or whatever she wants to be reminded of and it will pop up on her TV. Overall I think it's a good addition for my mother's TV so family and friends can stay in touch when we're not nearby. Now there's a monthly membership for this and it's $29 a month but you could also pay for the annual fee of $269. So I hope this video helps in any way. Thank you for watching and enjoy.